Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap Wednesday's market action and discuss our trading plan for tomorrow. But first, if you want our free reports, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com with your email. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get all of our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And in the welcome email, you will get a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging services are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat rooms. First up, speaking of, of reports, we have a new research report we are dropping tonight for our subscribers. The only way to get this report is to go sign up on insiderfinancial.com. You can even sign up, unsubscribe, just to see what the stock, the stock we are covering, read our res research report. You may be in it already. Hint, it trades under $1 on the NASDAQ and has a low float. And our last report was HILS. Uh, we dropped it on a uh, report for our subscribers on February 3rd. February 3rd, the average trade that day was $1.10, ran all the way to 265 for 140% in potential gains. Uh, overall, guys, the market right now, the dips are being bought. Uh, it's really hard to be bearish based on the price action. If you listen to the talking heads everywhere, they are all bearish and they are losing their butts. Uh, everyone seems to be positioned short and every time uh, the market dips, the bears think they are in control and the bulls come in and buy that dip. Um, I, tomorrow we get PPI report, but everything is indicating to me that this market wants to go higher. So we are not going to fight the trend guys. And if you look at what's going on in terms of, uh, you know, sentiment, you know, two sentiment indicators that I look at are Tesla and Bitcoin and both are rallying. Uh, so this tells me that speculation is, is back. Uh, Bitcoin is over 24,000, trading at 24,600 right now. Uh, this is helped by a combination of short liquidations and overall, as I said, broader risk on sentiment. Um, what uh, traders are saying, according to CoinGlass, traders liquidated over $61 million of short uh, BT BTC positions over the last 24 hours. Uh, this is the highest level in which traders have covered their bearish Bitcoin bet since last month. Um, if you look at the crypto stocks, uh, they're all rallying today. Uh, Silvergate uh, up 28%. I'm really mad at myself. I had uh, $20 calls uh, expiring on Friday. I more than tripled my money uh, and uh, I decided to get out. I left a lot of money on the table, but that is the nature of trading. It's all about the uh, uh, risk management, but I should have stayed in longer on Silvergate, but what can we do? Uh, Coinbase uh, really rallying today. Uh, this one here, the, the calls, another one were up over almost 700%. So again, uh, calls are banking right now in a lot of these speculative names. So again, congrats. Uh, if you are taking advantage and I've been talking about options plays, this is right now uh, a great place to be because what I like about options is you know your uh, downside. So if you're just simply buying calls or buying puts, uh, you investing X amount of money, that is the most you can lose. And that's how I like to trade. I like to know what my risk is and then uh, looking for multiples of that. So again, don't don't risk a dollar to make a dollar. You're gonna risk, you know, when, when it comes to options trading, you're gonna risk a dollar, you're looking to make three, four, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever it is. Uh, the potential is certainly there when it comes to trading options. 
But our last uh, uh, video, I talked about a few short squeeze names. Uh, first up was PLTR, uh, just absolutely uh, running this week, had good earnings report. Uh, XPON made new highs today and then profit taking. So this is bearish price action in terms of uh, the red candle. But again, we are still making higher lows. So again, still technically here in an uptrend on XPON. Uh, Wish up uh, 26%, talked about this uh, last time, said Andrew left. Uh, he is now bullish. Uh, he's well-known short seller. Uh, he's in the new GameStop uh, documentary on Netflix, talking about getting uh, his ass handed to him on GameStop. So uh, he uh, pivoted to now. He's doing. He's trying to pump stocks like uh, Zach Morris. Just hopefully uh, he doesn't end up like Zach. Uh, APRN, this one just cannot get going, uh, but dips are being bought. Uh, we got as low as 84 cents. They came in and bought the dip. We're trading at a dollar. Um, this one has just been... Everything is set up to squeeze, but it's just not squeezing. So uh, I, I don't know what to say, guys. Um, just right now, disappointing in uh, price action in Blue Apron Holdings. Uh, name watching for tomorrow is BOXD. This is Boxed Incorporated trading on the NYSE. Uh, the company has talked to two potential suitors about a purchase of the company. Uh, the stock is trading up in the after hours. Uh, this is a, an e-commerce grocery platform that sells bulk consumers, consumables to businesses and consumers. Uh, the company has talked to AE. Uh, AE on uh, company limited and at least one other suitor according to a person famil familiar with the matter uh, the company announced on January 3rd that its board was exploring a possible sale uh, a possible sale uh, last month the company also uh, had a had a nice pop after announcing received 20 million in new financing uh, the company had also entered into an amendment to its existing first lien debt facility with funds and accounts managed uh, by Block, BlackRock. Uh, this stock has been on an absolute downtrend uh, since it uh, merged with a SPAC. Uh, again, the company was originally mainly known for shipping boxes filled with toilet paper and potato chips, but the company has moved into uh, the SaaS business uh, and that business called Spresso. So again, uh, if the company is able to uh, uh, get bought out and complete the sale process, it'll at least give some, uh, uh, its shareholders at least something for their investment, but it's been an absolute uh, horrible uh, play for investors, of which a lot of these SPACs uh, were just uh, total pump and dumps. Uh, moving on, guys, uh, I talked about in my last video, I talked about the earnings plays that were happening. Uh, and this week, uh, they've just been absolutely on fire. Uh, TTD, the trade desk, big earnings up 32% today. Uh, UPST up 28% today. Roblox, RBLX up 26%. I mean, again, these are all green candles. Uh, so even if you weren't positioned before the earnings, uh, great trades after earnings. Uh, Carvana, no earnings, but this is a sympathy play. This is, has uh, uh, the highest short interest after uh, Silvergate. So again, up 18%. Uh, AB, uh, Airbnb, uh, big earnings report up uh, $16 today. Uh, Twilio, another one, big earnings this week. Uh, Roku had strong earnings. Uh, stock closed at 63, trading at $70 in the after hours. Uh, MNDY big earnings report on Monday. Again, guys, I covered all of this in the weekend video. Uh, Sunday night, I dropped a video uh, talk recapping uh, last week, the prior week's action, and then telling you what's on the radar screen for the coming week. So, guys, just hit that uh, subscribe button, hit the little notification bell to be notified when a new video drops. We cover all this for you. This way, you can get it on your radar screen. Again, we're not financial advisors. Uh, so we're just trying to put things on your radar screen uh, and give you a you know 15 minute video you know takes 15 minutes of your time. We cover a lot of stocks, give you the pointers, uh, uh, what we're looking for, and uh, you know you take it from there. So just trying to help you guys as much as possible. Again, uh, we run a completely free service here at InsiderFinancial.com.
Lastly, AI names uh, continue to run. Uh, BZFD, BuzzFeed, up 27%. And AI uh, bought the dip yesterday, uh, just above 20. We're at 25 today. Again, this has just been a great, great trader. Uh, AI, uh, these, this is going to be a, a hot sector all year. Uh, again, a lot of opportunities uh, in options on AI, you know, buying dips, selling rips. Uh, just a great trader, a uh, lot of money to be made in this sector. So uh, we're going to be following this for our subscribers and be covering a lot more AI names. So again, guys, go ahead, you know, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups. Again, it is a completely free service, guys. We, we're not going to uh, inundate your inbox. We're just going to send out our best ideas uh, to you guys. Finally, guys, Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. I want to wish everyone uh, good luck tomorrow in our NASDAQ under $1. We're expecting some major fireworks in this name, uh, so certainly uh, make sure you get that full report and do your own due diligence. Thanks for watching. Also, smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Good luck, guys. Bye-bye.